Bro, it's a bit early right now. It's about 4.15 in the morning or so, give or take. Meh, <laughs> we trying to eat tonight. Anyways guys, I'm Luis Ortiz, and right now we got the Fireboard Drive 2 settled in at around 250 degrees, give or take right now. The fan is coming on and off about 5% to 2%, so uh, you gotta set up the top vent where you would normally have it, and then the bottom vent I left at around half give or take. I can set up the temps pretty good, right? Usually around this time or so, maybe 6 a.m. However, down here in deep south Texas, as soon as the sun comes out, early in the morning or so, it starts to getting hot, and the Komodo Joe ends up rising in temp too. Other times is because I live pretty close to the Gulf of Mexico. Normally on any given day, we'll see gusts within the 35, 40 mile an hour range. Sometimes the wind will hit it and it'll ignite a little bit more of that uh charcoal and the temps will come up again you know so i have to go outside you know because i'll end up seeing a rise of temperature so i'll have to readjust again you know and it'll stay there right and if you guys know come out joe it takes quite a bit of time for it to come back down right i believe most of the subscribers that i have here are pellet smoker owners i've seen it many times where a lot of folks end up saying hey man i want a little bit more smoke flavor how do i do that do i add a smoke tube do i add wood chips like on a rectech what do i need to do to get a little bit more smoke flavor but you know at the same time they want to stay within the simplicity of a, a pellet smoker where you just set the button and set it and forget it type deal which is fine you know i've done it so many times and it's great if you guys want all this type of stuff i mean the fireboard drive too might be the solution right you'll end up getting a little bit more richness and smoke flavor because you're actually running real wood that's seasoned. You have the fireboard drive too that's regulating your temperatures via airflow. I mean, it might just be the answer for everything. So on this cook, we're gonna go ahead and do fat side down for majority of the smoke. And then once we get the bark that we're looking for, then we're gonna go ahead and do, uh, do the full bolt method with fat side up, right? So. With that said, let's go ahead and bring out the brisket and get it up in here. All right, folks, so it's been about five and a half hours, give or take or so. And this is the first time that we open up the lid. You can see right over here that, that the app has been staying at around 250, give or take the entire time. We haven't opened up the lid, nothing like that. So that's pretty good. Now, just like clockwork, you can see right over here, this bump. Now what happened? Well, as soon as the sun started coming out and everything, just like clockwork, man, the sun kind of dissipated a little bit because of the clouds and everything. So it's finally somewhere around there, you know, but you know what? It did spike up to about 262, but you know what? It's only what, 12 degrees from where we had it initially? I don't mind that at all, period. This app right over here has a lid detection. Basically the way that it works is that you open up the lid just like I did now, and once I close it down, the standard lid detection will keep the fan from, from coming on. You introduce a lot of oxygen to the charcoal, it might flare up a bit, and it delays the amount of time until it can turn back on. Next time you guys see us, we're gonna go ahead and do the full boat method. We'll see you in a bit. So, I checked it up a little bit earlier. Oh man, it's probing like butter. Point is at 
201. All right, we're gonna go ahead and call this. Yeah, it's pretty soft. All right, let's go ahead and call this. For anything else if you're new to the channel or if you like the content already be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button i definitely appreciate uh hitting that like button as well it definitely helps out with the youtube algorithm and being able to go ahead and spread the video around for everyone to enjoy all right with that said let's go ahead and dive deep into the fireboard tune what, what i think about it so first of all it's pretty easy to go ahead and use if you ever had to hook up your phone to your uh, house wi-fi that that's all it is man i did get a little bit confused with the steps right because it says to go ahead and, and set it to 250 and then afterwards uh from the factory it has a hold to 180 so what it'll do it'll turn off the fan right it'll turn it off so you have to change that hold setting to 250 or to whatever setting that you're wanting to and then that's it the biggest thing that i can recommend and you guys saw the bump in the temperature going up and like that right just like clockwork man as soon as the sun came out and everything the the dome started getting a little bit warmer the temps started getting hotter so i guess for next time what i'll end up doing is you know because i set the vents to what i usually set it up to around 250 or so so what i think i'll end up doing for next time is i'll end up closing it to about what i would set it for about 220 215 220 that way the temperature can drop down and get picked up by the fan versus the dome getting out of hand and the fan never turning on until those temps drop it does take a bit of time right i use the fireboard drive on just battery alone from 4 a.m or so until right now which is about five ish or so give or take 100 percent through the battery i didn't have to plug it into i didn't have to plug it into the power source or anything like that and the battery only dropped down to about 72 percent throughout the entire time and that's with the startup you know at 50 percent full boost up until it got to about 250 and that was it man so it used it didn't use a whole lot of battery so i'm pretty impressed about that i can you know charge it up pack it in if i needed to use it or whatever boom don't have to bring out an extension cord don't have to do anything like that all battery power no problem it was, it was it was great man you know i'll end up using this komodo joe a lot more often and um so if you're on the fence and you got a regular old joe just like this and you got a little bit of money to spare go ahead and do it man ain't gonna hurt you matter of fact you might even use it a, a little bit more hell i'm gonna use it a little bit more too <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. Be sure to go ahead and like, subscribe. See you in the next one. Later, guys.